All right, Michael is going to demonstrate the IV and medical medication skills. Welcome to the IV and medication skills. Are you testing for a paramedic level today? Yes. Since you are testing at the paramedic level today, these skills are designed to evaluate your ability to establish venous access in an adult patient and administer an IV bolus of medication. You will be given a patient scenario and will be required to establish an IV and administer an IV bolus of medication just as you would in the field. You will have three attempts and a six minute time limit to establish the IV. If you do not successfully establish the IV, you will not be able to administer the IV bolus of medication to the patient. Although we are using a mannequin's arm, you should conduct yourself as if there were a real patient. You should assume that I am the actual patient and may ask me any questions you would normally ask a patient in this situation. After you establish the IV, you will have three minutes to begin IV administration of a bolus medication. Do you have any questions? No. All right, you may begin. Your patient is going to be a 54-year-old male, chief complaint, chest pain, shortness of breath, and currently has a heart rate of 50 beats per minute. Per ACLS algorithm, and your current protocols, you have been authorized to give 0 0.5 milligrams of atropine. BSI seems safe. BSI seen is safe. First, I'm going to check to make sure I have the right fluids. Okay. Check the clarity, make sure there's no particulates, and make sure it's in date. Okay. And I'll select the proper catheter, which is going to be a 20 gauge catheter. Okay. And the select the proper drop set, which is going to be a 10 drop set. Okay. And I will check my drop set, make sure there's no tangles in the line. Make sure both ends are covered and sterile. And once I've done that, and I will take and remove the cap off the spike and spike my bag with a twisting motion and then pre fill my chamber halfway and flush my line. And I'll take my tape and prepare my tape for securing my catheter. Begin by applying a tourniquet. Looking for a vein. Once I have the site for an injection, I'm going to take my alcohol prep and clean the site from the center to the outer in a circular motion. I'm going to take my catheter. Inspect it for any burrs or nicks. Loosen the hub. to insert the catheter at a 35 degree angle, looking for a flash. Once I have it, then I'm going to advance my catheter. Including the vein, I'm holding on to the catheter. Dispose of my needle to the sharps and attaching my line. Releasing my tourniquet. And making sure that I have proper placement. Looking for my drip. Secure my catheter. With my tape. And 
unsecure my wallet. Saving my drip at KVO. Monitor my fish. Okay, you have it successfully established, IV. Now go ahead and give the medication. All right. First, I'm going to ask my patient if you have any allergies. There is no allergies. And I'm going to select my medication. Make sure I have the proper medication and the dosage. Is going to be administering 0.5 milligrams of atropine. And here I have atropine, which is one milligram in 10 milliliters. It's going to be 0.1 milligrams per milliliter. Very good. I'm going to prepare my syringe for administration, making sure that all the air is expensed. And I'm going to clean my port site with alcohol. Including the line. And attaching my medication. I'm going to reaffirm my medication. I'm giving 0 0.5 milligrams of atropine to my patient to help slow down the heart rate. I mean, speed up the heart rate. to dispose of my medication into the sharps container. Reset my line at KVO. And monitor my patient for desired effects or adverse effects. Okay. Is there anything you want to add or change? No, sir. Right. Good job. Thank you.